And that ginger, I'm sure a lot of you know Miss April, but she's anointed woman of God. God yes, has anointed yes. her, and God is using her mightily. And um, I, I want us to pray right now over this part of the service. <clears throat> Many of you, those of you that have, have been used by God in, in a this kind of way, like sharing the word. I have been in, in some instances and others here have. The devil will fight you to yeah. the nail yeah. before you share the word. Yeah. I mean, he will come against you with an onslaught to uh, to discourage you. Because um, uh, uh, he's trying to trip you up. That's all there is to it. But we're not allowing that in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We are praying. We pray for an anointing over this place. Yes. And there's an anointing over our sister. Yes. And I want us to pray right now. Father, we come to you. And we pray your anointing for this place. We pray, God, that your word will go forth. And what would go forth would be exactly the word that you want to go forth. That it would pierce the hearts and the lives of the women in here tonight. God, we pray for salvation. We pray for deliverance. We pray for healing. God, we pray your anointing all over Sister April as you use her tonight for your glory, God. For your glory, for your glory alone, and for your purposes, Lord. God, we give this to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise be to God. Amen. started the service with my mascara going down my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, my sisters, my friends, my father's house, oh, I love you, my goodness, and I'm so, oh, I'm so happy you're here. I, uh, uh, I just want to preach over here where the, the amen corn is at. <laughs> I want to say right here, I give Jesus so much glory because he is still seated on his throne. He is still high. Is that right if I can introduce you the two? <laughs> what do you call those guys? Yeah. 
candidates. Candidates. I'm going to make sure that she too. Oh, the Bible says in John chapter 10, verse 10. Let me tell you, come on. Yes. This first one, I'm going to get this one out of the way if it's all right. This one, the Bible says that the thief comes not but to kill, steal, and destroy. That's right. Now this one. I don't even like to say his name. It ain't even worth mentioning his name. But he goes by a lot of things. But a lot of the main one that I call him by is the father of lies. Yes. The father of lies. Accuser of the brethren. Accuser of the brethren. This one only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. To place seeds of doubt. To put her uh, huh. Mm -hmm. he, you know what his favorite lie is? Mm -hmm. One of his favorite lies is that your situation will always be the same. Right. Oh, yeah. Nothing will ever change. It will always be this way. That's his number one lie that he loves to drop in our minds. And he causes this to happen. Maybe things are not going to change. And as we find ourselves, we're praying, we've lost our faith, we, and, and we give up. You know, they teach us in school that there's four seasons. Uh, winter, spring, summer, and fall. But did you know there's a fifth season? <laughs> and it's called due season. <laughs> Amen. There is a fifth season. It is called due season. And the Bible says, <laughs> don't grow weary and well do Because you will reap in due season if you fight not. If you fight not. She saw, oh glory, hallelujah. 
she saw a concentration camp. And outside that concentration camp was this huge beast that was guarding the door. And there was a crack in that door, and she could see into that concentration camp, and she saw her daughter being tormented by deception. That's what she saw. The spirit was deception, tormenting her. And at the same time, she saw that vision. That's when the Lord gave her that, I will contend with those that contend with you. And it talks about, I will bring back the, I can't remember exactly, but I'll bring back the plunder from the waters. I'll bring them back to her. So every time when she was in prayer, she would see that vision. She said, I would walk to my door and I would scream it as loud as I could. Thus says the Lord God every time. And it kept on being a long battle. Most people would have given up. And she had some tough days along the way. I'm not saying it's an easy thing, but it's it's something that's worthwhile. Yeah. And it has all the benefits cannot be compared. I'm telling you. So as she was praying, years went on by. And all of a sudden, that, that vision popped up in her mind again. And she started to say, thus, thus says the Lord God. But this time, the, the Holy Spirit shut her mouth and said, look. And this time, she saw, she kept watching that concentration camp. Now, this is a vision. And all of a sudden, that door flew open wide. And out walked Lindsay. Amen. Wow. Amen. And not only Lindsay, following behind her was a multitude. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 concentration camp. It is as if each one, the calling and the destiny and the purpose on their life. Some of them, she said, were worship leaders and they were just singing as they were coming out. Some of them were musicians and they were playing like air guitar. And the Lord spoke to her and said, The reason that the battle has been so hard and so long is because you wouldn't fight. For your daughter only, but you are yeah. yeah. So I came to expose the lie of the enemy that says things will never change. Oh, he gets dead wrong. Things oh, yeah. indeed yeah. will change. They are the children of God. They're coming home. Yes, sir. They're coming home. Jehovah 
He is the provider. He is everything to me. I tell you, I can't, I can't say it enough. And Mama probably gets embarrassed of me talking about it all the time, but I'll never get tired of sharing it. We walked through some valleys in my day. We didn't have a whole lot of money, but I watched God be. Yes. 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 Y'all just gonna have to forgive me. I'm just a mess, but I don't know if I can carry it. I saw my sweet mama every month calculating those bills, talking as fast as she could. Maybe she could talk so fast her fingers look like rubber, like rubber things. Just counting those, those bills. And every month, without fail, we were two or three hundred dollars short. But I always saw check number one. Tides. <laughs> okay, check it out. She paid those tides, and I saw that as a young girl. I watched it, and I learned. She didn't sit me down and say, "April, now here's the, here's what you need to do." I watched her. Oh, yeah. I watched her. I watched her, and I watched every month without fail. Even though the in the natural it said we were short, oh, but in the spiritual realm, we had a father that owns a cattle on a thousand. Jesus is a multiplier. Yeah. He's a provider. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> and I'm telling you, the, let me just read it. Y'all know we always talk about this scripture at Christmas, but we need to say it every day. For unto us a child is born. Yeah. Yes. yes. Unto us a child is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. Yes. Yes. And his name shall be called Wonderful yes. Counselor. Yes. Oh, mighty God, everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I came to dethrone a lot of things tonight. <laughs> I came to dethrone depression, yes. anxiety yes. in people's lives that are here. I'm telling you, I, 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 I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm, <in love. laughs> I'm telling you that you're not going to live here the same way. Oh, Amen. 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 Uh, Jesus has only showed me too much. I've been praying too hard, but it ain't nothing about my prayers. It's all about Jesus yeah, and what he wants to do. Amen. And he's just looking for people that are aware and are expecting and, and that are dependent upon him. Yes. Yes. He's going to do it. Yes. There's some things that need to be dethroned from our mind in our thinking, in our situations. Yeah. I don't have a whole lot of, of preaching to do or anything like that, but I know that I know that Jesus wanted to spend so much time in this altar, so I'm making room for Jesus. Oh, what he man. wants to do, I'm making room. I said, I'm getting the way about this. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something. I, rem I remember a story. I'm talking, I cannot get away with the day that I have been talking at work. I'm, these glasses are fogging up like everything. I can't handle the, I can't handle the glory. <laughs> about this name, about the name of Jesus. I can't get away from it. You're like, oh, <laughs> can, 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 do this with me. Everybody just whisper the name Jesus. 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 Jesus.
You know that Goliath so many times, it, it, it reveals the tactics of the enemy. And his tactics that he was using Goliath for was intimidation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This facade looking so looking so much bigger and, and taller than what he is. But it only took one person that knew about the power of the name of Jesus yeah. to defeat that Goliath. He said that David, oh my goodness, what kind of person do you gotta be to run toward that kind of person? You being just a little kid. What kind of what kind of boldness do you have to have? I don't think you have to have boldness at all. I think you just gotta know that there is power in the name of Jesus. And that he's on the inside. And it said, You he told God, you come to me with a spirit and a spear and a sword, but I that's it. That's it. I come to you in what? The name of the Lord. <laughs> I come to you in the name of the Lord. I can't get away about the power of the name of Jesus. And I think about oh, oh, Peter and John. I think about oh, Peter and John. <laughs> they went to this gate. They were going to church to pray. And on their way, they passed this guy. <laughs> They'd get at the gate beautiful. Ain't no telling how long he had been there. Had been lying, couldn't walk, all of those things. And you know the story. <laughs> Old Peter and John said, silver and gold I do not have. But such as I have, I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. And the next thing they said was, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you get up and walk. So this is what I'm going to tell you before we pray. Before we take it, hold the election, we're going to cast our votes. <laughs> we're going to cast our votes. Let me tell you this. It caused all kind of ruckus, that miracle that happened yeah. at the name oh, of Jesus. Yeah. Immediately, that guy sprung up on his feet, started leaping, started dancing all over the place, and he got the teaching of about 4,000 people. <laughs> That didn't like it one bit. And they were questioning, them, did you do, are you the one that did it? And this was their response. And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And when they had uh, sent them in the midst, they asked, what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man, by what means has he, is, has he been made well? Let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands here before you hold. <laughs> this is the stone which was rejected by your builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there in nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given unto men by which we must be saved. That power in his name. Now there are some people that have that name Jesus. I know so I have some Hispanic friends that their names Jesus. That, uh huh. But and you think, well, is there power in that? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> there is power in the Son of God. Yeah. Son of God, Son of Man. It is power in His name. But you say, well, I, I know there's power, but how do I access it? I am so glad that you asked me that question. <laughs> By faith. Amen. Amen. They said it by faith in that name. And as they kept on talking, those Pharisees and all of those people were would never want to lay hands on them. Not pray. They wouldn't put them in jail. <laughs> they wanted to beat them. And they said, <laughs> as they were they were speaking and all of these things, they noticed the boldness and they said there was something different. They said they perceived that they had been Jesus. That is the secret. Yes. Of accessing the power of the name of Jesus. Yes. You gotta know him. Yes. You gotta know him for your sake. Yes. I'm so thankful for my mama, Peggy. She's got a perfect <laughs> <laughs> I'm so grateful for that sweet woman of God. Wow. Yes. And I learned so much. As I get older, I'm realizing that, that what a jewel that is. Because not everybody has. Right. And I'm so grateful that I did. But even having the most awesome mama in the, the history of 
mamas, if this ever walked this earth, I still had to know him for myself. I don't want to just know about him. I want to know him intimately. I want to know. I want to be able to hear his heart beat. I want to be able to know the things that breaks his heart and the things that put a smile on his face. And that only comes by spending time with yourself. Pushing back distractions. Pushing back those things that don't matter. This world that we're living in is busy. Be uh huh. Uh, it's busy. We can get so distracted and so caught up with meaningless things. We're in the home stretch. Jesus is about to come back, and I tell you, I for one am so excited. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. But there's still work to do before he comes. There's still people that they haven't found that hope that y'all found. I'm so glad y'all found it. But we're not going to get that work accomplished if we're not walking and using that name. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. And if we don't know it, we're not going to get much accomplished. Mm -hmm. Well, glory. If we can stand up, I know this has been like the, I've been all over the place, but I know that I know that Jesus, <laughs> this is his time. This is his time. <clears throat> so we're going to hold his election. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you're here and you want to cast your ballot for that first candidate, that liar, <laughs> that killer, that destroyer, you come out right here. No. <laughs> but if you're here, whoo, if you're here and you're serious about crowning him the uh, commander in chief of your heart and your mind and your situation and your very life, your very being. I want you to come gather in this front and we're going to pray. You come on. 